hi you are welcome back to my channel ICT made easy today what I will be teaching you is data analysis and that's mid June uh, 2021 paper 31 so yesterday I've already um, show you how to uh, do this web authoring and today I will be continue with uh, data analysis now the question says uh, the question is starting from here and the question says you are going to use a spreadsheet to list properties in Bali that match the location and room type entered by the user now the first thing asks you to open and examine the file this and this one okay uh, basically according to the source file uh, I will be needing three different files here this is one then I'll be needing this one as well and the last one is this um, this file I'll be needing this just try to open all the three files you'll be using okay I have all the three files ready now the first question says open and examine this I've already opened it then data has been entered or data has been placed into set B4 and B5 to help you test your model all right okay. now the next question says place in the header left aligned then they want us to place this text in the header list prepared by okay let's go back here then you click on insert then after that you will see header and footer just choose this option then in the left align they want you to put this one there now the next question says uh followed by space okay space then your name center number candidate number your name center number then candidate number then after that the question says then a space followed by on then followed by space and today's automated date now space on then space to this automate automated date the date is here just click here just as simple as that that's all what they want us to put in the header then you can click on view um, just click anywhere click on view then you can choose normal so to go back to normal view now the next question says uh, save this as a spreadsheet with the file name j2131bhh underscore okay we need to save this one now with a new file name in the format of the software you are using i'm using this then let me pay follow by my candidate number then underscore followed by my center number then don't forget this one is csv so you actually have to change it to the format of the software you are using and that's excel workbook all right then you save it simple as that then the next question says is there any other thing they want you to do yeah that's true max good then the next one says format the spreadsheet to look like this we need to format the spreadsheet to look like this just look at it carefully you will see that there are a few changes here now first and foremost the first thing you need to do is click here then you you double click on this column on this grid line a so that everything can be visible the second thing let me highlight any, everything from column a b and c until 16 let me look at the question again until 16 then you have to show the grid line you need to show the grid line or this one you show the border that's the first thing now the second thing this one is being matched if you look at it it's been match let's match it then according to the question the question says you need to make it to be 28 points then black background and it should be white so which means this one should be white first secondly it should be black background tall then it should be 28 simple all right then what other thing you need to do here let's look at it carefully then look at two here which means you need to adjust this, this cell just drag it up a little bit uh, like that good it looks like that then is there any other thing look at this okay you can see that 
Row 3 is also matched. The margins, row 3, merge, then is being centered. Merge a center, then is bold. If you look at it carefully, you will see that it is bold. Then for location will be that's okay. Okay, another thing is that from here until finish, everything it is centered. If you look at it carefully, it is centered. Then you have to expand this cell as well. Okay, good. Perhaps maybe you might have to reduce this one a little bit. Okay. Is there another thing? Everything looks okay now. All right. All this data you don't need to enter them for now. Okay. Now, obey. Okay. Let's continue, but eventually, I think being you see something later, so you can just easily come back here and you try to adjust. So these same uh, seven marks, then you can easily claim your marks. Now the next question says, enter a function in cell B7. You need to enter a function in cell B7, which depends on the room type. So looks up the number of person from the file j213 rate try to understand this question you need to enter we are going to use vlookup here by the way every time you see lookup then it means you are going to use vlookup or it might be hlookup but in this case it's going to be vlookup vlookup and you know how vlookup works the first thing is enter a function in cell which depends on a room type which it depends on a room type i don't know what room time is going to be let's say it's b4 then you need to look for the range then you look you need to look for the answer then you need to type force this is the formula don't forget then i will show you how to do this let's go back here and that enter the formula in b7 this is b7 we say equal v lookup okay open this bracket and close it what is the lookup value this is the value that we are looking up because this is room type this q if this person type q then the number of person will show that's what they want us to do on the uh, comma what is the table array of course the table array is the rate right according to the equation this one you need to look for it and uh, it is somewhere here uh, not this one uh, this so you have to highlight from a to z okay good then you put comma where is the answer here because we are having two columns column one and column two which one contains your answer you are looking for the person so that's column two contain your answer and you, you are looking for the exact answer that is false always the answer is false you ha you need to write false here don't write true then you press enter you can see it's there so if you press letter y it's going to be four if you press letter f it's going to be two so it depends on whatever you press here then the vo uh, this formula z lookup it will look at the list and it will give you this number that's what it means so it initially it was q right three now just as simple that's five marks right quite simple now next question enter a formula in cell b8 which depends on the room type okay display whether breakfast is provided this time they are talking about breakfast in b8 so we say b8 z look up again we are going to use this formula again v look up you open the bracket and close it then inside it it actually depends on b5 right then comma what is the array then you come back to uh, to this and you highlight it this time you highlight all the columns you highlight all the columns whenever you type c um 
it will show no if you type f it will show yes if we type p it will show yes that's what vlookup does now where is our answer here the answer is actually in column four then the this one will be false don't forget if you are having trouble with this vlookup is a bit confusing by the way but just look at the top then i have a video on vlookup i i deliberately dedicate one, one you know one video for vlookup you can try to check that video on my channel then press enter and you can see this one is yes if you type something else it might be no now that's one mark then another question cells b10 to b15 must display the names of all property must display which means this 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 it must be b10 until b15 it must display the name of all properties in the location entered in b4 if we type anything in b4 where is b4 this b4 which means if we type obit here all the name of the location should show if we type something else all the name of the location should show so how do we do that yeah that's the job of the vlookup we are giving another table here we are having location we are having like one two three four five six seven we are having seven location so in that b4 if you type pulukan there then this four location will show if you type this nosa lembongan there this five location will show so these are the things they want you to do right these are the things they want you to do okay how do we do that we're well, quite easy but one thing i quickly want to draw your attention to you will see that this one is h lookup we are going to use h lookup function for this we have two type of lookup we have v lookup if all the data you are giving they are in horizontal they are in vertical v stand for vertical okay then we have h lookup if all the data you are giving are in horizontal in this case this one is horizontal the previous one we did it was in vertical that's why we use vlookup so pay attention to that now so let's quickly do that now here we need to type a function now we say equal hlookup hlookup open and close now what are we looking up we are looking up for these our view these our lookup value anything we type here then i want you to look at what is our table array i want you to look to go to this place right i want you to go to this place actually i might not need to select this just need to select the data i want you to go to this table if I type obit, I want you to bring all uh, this answer for me. Now, in the case of the obit, my answer is actually in which row? You can see this one is row number one, right? This is row number two. I believe you know what I'm saying. This is row number one, this is row number two, this is row three, row four, row five, row six, row seven. So, because I started selecting from here so i want you to go to this and you retrieve the answer for me from row number two then i told you earlier this one is always false so you press enter you will see it will bring time if i type ubud, ubud there in row number two it will bring taman villas for me if i type <laughs> all these names are a bit difficult to pronounce but let's say I type Pulukan somewhere here. You see, Pulukan. Can you see? It's being Gulu Pulukan for me. Let me check. Is it correct? Yeah, it's correct. In yeah, row number two, that's Gulu Pulukan. Okay. That's all. That's all what we have to do. But the question says in cell B2 must display the. Okay. Then if there are less. Okay. But before we do this, or let me quickly do this as well. Be, if 
there are less than six property available six properties available in that location sales must not display property name sales not displaying a property name should be blank enter a formula in cell b10 that display the first property and then replicate this formula into the cell b11 to b15 so basically what they are looking from you is um, let's go back to this one uh, you see you need to replicate the same formal formula for this 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 because as i type uh ubud earlier for example um, it's supposed to give me five properties it's not just only one which means i need to copy the same formula for it so what i need to do here is just copy quite easy for me paste 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 and paste so what i need to do here is i just need to change what do i need to change here this one is b4 don't forget we are using b4 by the way so that's why it's a good idea you see this one already changed to b5 this changed to b6 this one changed to b7 this one changed to b8 this changed to b9 no 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 this is not correct it shouldn't be changing it's supposed to be b4 throughout so if i want it to be b4 throughout then i need to lock it i need to lock that cell with dollar sign and this is what we call absolute reference i need to lock it with dollar sign and this is what we call absolute reference i lock it already so press enter so if i copy it now you see copy 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 you see everything now is um this one is b4 this is also b4 because i locked that b4 with dollar sign that's what we call absolute reference however if you look at this look at that ubud or something or what's it called this ubud the first one in row number two the answer is taman villas but another one the answer is samara villas another one the answer is adiwana aria villa so which means i actually need to change the cell name the answer is in row number three in this case the answer is row number four in this case then the answer is row number five in this case and the answer is row number six in this case and for this one the answer is row number seven in this case you get the point now so if i type ubud then definitely don't forget this one is in the center definitely all the location in ubud will appear so what about if i tie if i type um pulukan pulukan with pulukan you see all the location in pulukan will come out now but there is one thing we didn't finish yet this question says if um you see if there are less than six properties available in that location sales not displaying a property must be blank which means it doesn't look professional to see zero zero here if it doesn't up to six property then it shouldn't be zero zero it's not, so it's not makes sense to be zero zero then what do i need to do what i need to do here is look at it this very very interesting you need to put if here you say if if what if everything if all this formula oh sorry if all this formula mm -hmm, is equal to zero comma if all this formula is equal to zero which means if there is nothing in that cell in the cell if there is nothing there then is going to be empty that cell should be empty otherwise i want you to show the content of the cell i just need to copy paste this one otherwise i want you to show the content of the cell i don't know if you really understand this so it's a bit confusing but i believe uh, <laughs> so you try to watch this as many times as possible so that you can understand what you are saying but let me explain again 
so what I'm saying here is I say um, everything H lookup if everything I have in the cell is equal to zero then it should not show anything it should be empty okay otherwise it's going to show the content of the cell so if you press enter now yes if you press enter now you will see this one is okay all right but i need to duplicate the same thing for the rest of the cell so if i duplicate everything for the rest of the cell everything is good looking good looking but for your information by the way you remember i changed this one earlier right i need to change this one to three and i have to change the content of this one to three as well i need to change this one to four you remember i did it earlier so i need to change this one to four as well then this the answer is supposed to be in five and this will be in five two and this will be six and this will be six as well if this formula is correct it should it should, it's supposed to be empty then this one's supposed to be seven and this will be seven as well excellent good so if i type ubud here all the five shows it doesn't up to six but what about the property that's up to six uh like this one it has like no sadua let me if i type no sa dua here all the six items we show so try to study study this it's a bit confusing but i do hope you will get it by its grace so no worries then enter a formula so we've done this that's 11 max so that's why you know vlookup is not a joke just imagine if a student doesn't know vlookup it means that it won't be able to answer this and that's 11 max it won't be able to answer this one as well that's 11 max then of course this one is quite easy so this is 7 max but it won't be able to answer this this as well as this one and that's quite much that's quite much so try to practice as much as possible on vlookup and if function those two things in fact they are big boss they are very very important in your exam now save your spreadsheet yeah just as simple as this uh, then we save it then what's next thing so print your spreadsheet showing the formula okay this is quite easy then make sure it is in landscape orientation okay let's change it so print your spreadsheet showing the formula before you do that you need to click on formula then you show the formula this is very important for your information why because how examiner is going to know that you've written the correct formula whatever how much effort you might have spent to write this formula if you never show the formula then examiner will not be able to give you mark so make sure you follow the instruction please don't ever and ever underestimate any instruction so this one doesn't show uh, fully so just double click here so that everything can show fully then control p and you see it doesn't show fully and you can change this one to uh, landscape then you change this one to fit on one page okay yeah fit on one page you see uh, all the formula show very well then the next the next question says so the contents of all sets are fully visible and can be easily read uh, let's say i believe this one is is easily read otherwise if it will if it won't be easily read then it's better you choose it's not necessary to show every especially if the question never say that everything is supposed to be on a one page you see this question never say anything oh the question even says that the row and column headings are displayed so if you want to do that then you see the row and columns heading are not displayed here you need to click on page setup here then you come to sheet then you need to show row and columns heading press ok you will see now these are the a and b and these are the uh, these are columns and these are rows so then what's the next thing okay i was seeing something earlier if everything won't be shown clearly then 
perhaps you can just choose another option maybe this one so especially if the question never say anything that everything is supposed to be on a single web page uh, sorry on a single page so make sure what you do is quite easy for examiner to read now um, the next question says print out yeah done then print your spreadsheet showing the value so you are, you are going to use another two printouts so you need to click on formula again and you disable this then you need to show the value but don't forget you have to change this one back to Ubud you know according to the question it was Ubud right and this one is Q so just leave it like that so don't use any other thing um, then after that print out fit on a single portrait of course you, you, you I believe you know how to do this just control P um, this case is going to be portrait yeah everything looks okay and uh, the question says row and column headings are not displayed so no need just click on page setup here this one uncheck this so there is no need of showing the row and column headings then the next question says content of all cells are fully visible i believe everything looks nice great then you print it then the last one say change the data to produce a list of property with a room type of g in nosa lembongan so oh this format wow okay let's quickly do this so change the data to produce a list of property with a room type of g in nosa lembongan so which means what we need to do here is let's come back here um, room type of g that's the first thing all right but the one in nosa lembongan so you just click on what's it called uh let us filter you can just click on filter here uh, oh uh, sorry there's no need of filter by the way <laughs> okay just you just need to change this one to g and um what's the car you need to change this one to nusa nimbongan as well instead of ubud you change it to nusa nimbongan these are the set of the rooms av available over there then after that print out on a single portrait again Control p on a single portrait then uh, row and column setting are not displayed so it's not displayed already then content of all sets are fully visible and can be read easily then you can claim your 34 marks <laughs> is it simple or difficult <laughs> well if you think it's difficult perhaps you have to try more videos try to watch and try to practice as much as possible i've done videos by the i have like two or three videos dedicated for functions so try to check my channel and you can see the what's it called uh, a spreadsheet so a uh, uh, playlist so try to watch all those videos so that you can master your vlookup as well as if statement so thank you for watching this video so see you guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so bye so textbook is boring right do you believe it's too voluminous containing a lot of information even if you read it one million times you might still not be able to answer a gcse questions correctly we have a solution for you we have created all in one GCSE summary slides for each chapter. It covers the whole curriculum. We present it in a concise manner all you need to be an A star student. The slide is well prepared by an ICD Cambridge examiner. After each topic, we provide a GCSE related questions with answers. Download now. www.highsateam80z.com.